Meanwhile, law enforcement in Uvalde, Texas, are actually facing tough questions over their response to Tuesday's shooting. Preliminary police reports about the tragedy are now being contradicted as new details emerge. Against school safety policy, doors at the back of Robb Elementary School were not locked on Tuesday as they normally were supposed to be, and the gunman, therefore, entered the building unobstructed. In addition to this, despite police having engaged the gunman only four minutes after he had entered the school, it took Border Patrol agents over an hour to arrive and eliminate the threat. It seemed that police were treating the situation as a hostage scenario, despite the fact that the gunman did not respond to negotiations. Meanwhile, parents pleaded with Border Patrol agents and police to enter the building. However, many of those parents found themselves in handcuffs or even pepper sprayed for attempting to intervene to save their children. In a brief press conference that took place on Thursday, Texas Department of Safety Officer Victor Escalon tried to correct the record. It was reported that a school district police officer confronted the suspect that was making entry. Not accurate. There was not an officer readily available armed. Officers are there, the initial officers, they receive gunfire. They don't make entry initially because of the gunfire they're receiving. Once we interview all those officers, what they were thinking, what they did, why they did it, the video, the residual interviews, we'll have a better idea. Then the department's director, Colonel Stephen McCraw, gave another press conference on Friday in which he said the call to change the situation from active shooter to barricaded suspect at the time was the wrong decision. Go to FISM.TV news for more.